Parkway. And a New Mexico teen is accused of plotting a Columbine-style attack to take out his entire high school class. Good evening. Police say the 15-year-old boy spelled out what he wanted to do to classmates at a northern New Mexico private school. The school expelled him after investigators found lists of names and deadly threats in the teen's notebook. And charges of attempt to commit murder could be coming. News 13's Greg Gourlay is live in the Newsplex. Diane police departments have been on alert for threats since the deadly Columbine shootings in 1999. They say the warning signs were there for another disaster, this time in Española. Students at McCurdy High School were being targeted by a teen with a beef, according to police. One of the main issues that the child had was that he was being bullied at school. This has actually been going on since seventh grade. Investigators working on a tip from a McCurdy student say the boy, whose name we are not releasing because he hasn't been charged, had thought about revenge for months. Police say they went to the boy's home and confiscated a composition book. They say inside of it was a list that nobody would want to be on. The notebook listed more than two dozen fellow classmates and teachers, and even the boy himself and his level of annoyance with each. He writes his ideal involves serial killings, mass murder, and suicide, killing in gruesomely painful ways. Police say he did have access to a gun. It says, the list is a list of people who annoy me. If you read the, the report on Columbine and the history on it, that was one of their issues. Uh, those two boys is their list contained people who annoyed them. McCurdy kicked a boy out of school and sent this letter home to other parents assuring them their children were safe. Parents were relieved but didn't want to talk on camera. Still, it's a shock to the community. I live across the street and I, it's kind of strange, you know. It's kind of scary, I guess, you know. A lot of the parents were thinking, you know what, this kid's not serious. That was their take on it. But then I also received a lot of telephone calls from parents saying, you know what, thank you for doing something about it because you just don't know. Police confiscated the boy's computer. He told them that he had played video games that depicted some of the violent acts that he wrote about. The boy's parents tell us the police have blown this situation out of proportion and officers have not spoken with them or their son since confiscating the notebook two weeks ago. Diane, back to you. Thank you, Greg. Now, the teen's parents say they are trying to get him some counseling and have put him in another school, although they will not say.